Okay, in this video I'm going to go over um, the circuit laws that we can use to analyze electricity flowing through a circuit. Um, so there's two major laws or two big laws we use. They're called Kirchhoff's laws. There's Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. Um, the current law is probably the easier one to visualize and understand and it's also probably usually the easier one to work with. So that's the one I'm going to start with today. Um, so KCL Kirchhoff's current law states that charge is conserved in a circuit. So when current splits or joins in a circuit, no charge is lost and the total flow into the joint or junction is equal to the total flow out. And this diagram here shows that if you have like a wire with current flowing this way and wire with current flowing this way and they come together, if you have two charges going into that junction, you'll have, or sorry, if you have two plus one charges going into the junction, you'll have three that come out. So what we say here is So what we say then is that the total current in is equal to the total current out. And we can even kind of further that example by looking at some numbers. Let's suppose we have some voltage source here and the circuit has a whole bunch of resistors in. And let's suppose we know, for some reason, we know that four amps goes into this junction there. And we know that one amp comes down this wire. Therefore, this current must be 3.0 amps. Four in, four out. And if this is three amps, that has to be three amps as well. It's the same wire. And if we have three going to that junction, one going into that junction, then this has to have four coming out. And that also makes sense. If this is four, this is the same wire that goes through there, that has to be four amps. That's basically how you use the, cur the current law when analyzing circuits. The next law is called Kirchhoff's voltage law, and it's actually a restatement of conservation of energy, but there's, there's some things to think about when we look at this law in terms of circuits. So first of all, we say that charges experience voltage gain across cells or sources. So in other words, in this example here, this is a voltage gain of 10 volts. And then we say that charges experience voltage drops when it goes across resistors and, and devices. So as the current goes from this end to this end of the resistor, the voltage drops. And therefore, what the voltage law is, is that for every path through a circuit, the voltage gains equals the voltage losses. And that, in a sense, is restating conservation of energy Conservation energy says the total change in energy is zero, and that's what this is saying as well. The total voltage, the gains and the losses, when you add those up, it's zero. Oops, I'll make this a bit smaller. So voltage, total gain is equal to voltage, total drop. And I just highlighted again here, because this is um, this is how we use this law when analyzing circuit. For any complete loop around a circuit, the voltage drop equals the voltage gain. So let me go through what that might look like. Here I'm sketching a, let me use a highlighter. I'm gonna, here's a loop around a cir uh, circuit. So as you move across that circuit, all the voltage gain has to equal all the voltage drop. So uh, starting here, we have a gain. So, so we have a gain of 10 volts. And the rest are drops. So the drops include 2 volts plus V1 plus 3 volts. Therefore, V1 must be equal to 5 volts. So 2 plus 5 plus 3 is 10. So that's one way to we'd use this voltage law. I could draw a different loop around this circuit. I could do, say, this one. Okay. 
once again, the voltage gain equal to the voltage drop. So my gain is 10 volts, and then it drops 2 volts, drops V2, drops 3 volts. Once again, uh, that same number is going to, that number is going to be 5 volts again. V2 equals 5 volts. So that's how you use the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Um, so we now have maybe two reasons to believe why parallel circuits all have the same voltage. So there's a, here's a parallel circuit with three resistors. Um, one way to think that they all have the same voltage is because these all have equal electric pressure. And these all have equal electric pressure. So therefore, the, the voltage of difference across these are all the same. And all, it's all the same. It's yellow to green. It's the same voltage pressure difference. Um, or another way to think of it now is using Kirchhoff's voltage law is that any one loop around the circuit, all the gains equals all the all the losses. So if this was say six volts, then I go around there. That means this would have to be six volts because all the gains equals all the losses. And then if I do another one, loop like this, all the gains is all the losses. So on the blue loop, six volts, and that means this must be six volts. Likewise, this loop. All the gains is equal to all the losses. So the gain is 6 volts. That means this must be 6 volts. So two different ways to come up with this idea of parallel circuits now. OK. Um, usually when we try to solve circuits, we recommend to try to use the current law first. This is simpler. So before we get into solving circuits, we're going to look at one other idea. And this is the idea of equivalent resistance. So I have two examples here of where we analyze resistors in series or resistors in parallel. Here's a circuit which shows three resistors in series. And if we think about how those might add up together, the idea is that when you put more and more resistors in series, they offer more and more resistance. And an analogy would be, if you can think, imagine yourself blowing through one of those kind of small coffee stirring straw type things. If you blew through one short straw, it's kind of hard to blow through. But if you can imagine, instead of blowing through just one, but adding three in a row, how hard it would be to blow through. And I think you could even try this, or you could just take my word for it. it you would sense it being harder and harder to blow. And in fact, it, those add up in a very particular way. Um, and what we say is that resistors in series add up such that the total resistance equals the sum of the individual resistances. So. We can, we can analyze that using uh, Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws, actually. Let's just imagine this kind of part of a, of a circuit that has some current I flowing through it. So this is V1, I is flowing through it. I flows through V2, and then later on, I flows through V3. So what we would say is, is that um, if we think about the total voltages that add up. This is like the idea of Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. If we add up all the voltages there, so we'd have V1 plus V2 plus V3. And V1 is equal to I times R1 plus I times R2 plus I times R3. That is the same as saying we have a, a voltage here, or sorry, a resistor here, called RT, with I flowing through it. We're gonna uh, what I, what I'm gonna say is the res, this circuit is exactly the same as this circuit. I times RT. RT means total resistance. And so if I say these circuits are equal, so I times RT is equal to all this. Um, you can see the eyes are the same everywhere else. We can cancel the eyes out. 
can divide both sides by r, and we get rt equals r1 plus r2 plus r3. And this is how resistors add up in series. They, they just add up with the sum. So you can have a total resistance. And onwards. So that's uh, in series. In parallel, it's, it's different. So once again, I'll think of a straw analogy. If you blew through one small straw, it'd be pretty hard. But if you kind of put two of those straws in your mouth at the same time, not end on end, but separately, or three or four and you blow, it'll become easier and easier. As you add more straws at the same time, it gets easier. And so that's what we say here with resistors. Resistors in parallel add up such that the total resistance is lowered. So let's think of this circuit where all of these resistors have the same voltage. Let's call it V. So that's V there, there's a V here, and a V there. Um, this is, say, I1, I2, I3. And this is resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3. So we can think of this as a as another um, equivalent circuit. So let's suppose we have a, a different resistor over here, same voltage, same V, with some RT. And let's say we have some total current flowing through that resistor and that with that voltage. Um, if we made this into a circuit, we'd say that the total current is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. That's uh, Kirchhoff's voltage, or sorry, current law. And IT is V over RT. And this is V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over R3. And we can cancel out all of these. We can divide both sides by V. And you end up with 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and onwards. So that's how resistance adds up in parallel circuits.